Hey there. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. It's the big day. This is the most extreme thing I have, I have tried. I gotta live life, right? If you recall last time that we chatted, I said that uh, I was, uh, we just decided that we're gonna try to, to travel as much as my body will allow uh, this fall. So we are on our way today, um, this evening. We're gonna jump on a flight and go to Iceland. We're there for 48 hours and then uh, we move on to Helsinki and Finland and we're there for three days. I'm so proud of my wife. She's going to, uh, of course it's work, that's why we're doing this, but she's going to talk to the UN uh, Women's Forum. I'm just, I couldn't not be there. Like, it's just so awesome to, I just want to be there in the hotel that night when she comes home and tells me all about it, right? <laughs> Plus I, I, I'm, I can do this. I'm kind of talking myself into it because uh, um, I was literally just disconnected from chemo a little bit ago. My nurse came. I got to take a shower, which is glorious. Oh, man, you go three days without a shower during chemo. And chemo strips you of your taste and smell. But let me tell you, I can smell myself. It is bad. <laughs> it's so, it's one of the most glorious things is to take a shower after when you get disconnected from chemo. <laughs> you know, it's funny, my oncologist said to me she said why don't you just push back your push back your uh chemo a week and and just not worry about it um so that way you don't have to worry about like getting neutropenic and and uh in helsinki or or you know some, some very serious things that could happen uh in those days after chemo and you know the thing is is i have to go into uh, radiation and maybe some more surgeries this fall. So when, if I push it off, when do I do it, right? Because as soon as I get back, I said, I said, what about, I'm coming back, I'm gonna do chemo and then I'm heading to Colorado because do you remember last year when I did that 5K in the Colorado mountains up in Crested Butte for cancer uh, fund, re research funding support stuff? <sighs> coming off of chemo, dear, bear with me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I met some really awesome people out there and it's my dearest friend, Natalie, and her family. It's where they're, where she's from. And so she invited us out there last year to run it with her and uh, to see where she grew up. And so we're going back. I'm really excited. There's a woman uh, that I met out there and literally she had been told that week that there really wasn't much more they could do for her. Same disease as mine, blah, blah. And I introduced her to my team, my liver surgeon and my ablation uh, surgeon. and. And um, she's got one surgery left, just a little minor, take a little cancer off of uh, her ovaries, I think, and then she's cancer free. Isn't that crazy? She went from being told nothing you can do to cancer free a year later. It's insane. So as you can see, I can't postpone chemo. I need to figure out a way to live life around it and going to see some volcanoes and some waterfalls and hopefully oh my god I hope I hope I'm I'm past the vomity part uh tomorrow me uh, let's see because I really want to I, I really want to eat uh fish <laughs> while I'm in Iceland I'm so then I want to try the uh the rye bread that they cook in um in the rocks and the steam and stuff right hmm yeah it's nerve-wracking to usually when when we travel I've been off chemo for a couple of days at least um and this is I'm disconnected and we're flying today so it's it's I think both my wife and I are a little anxious about it but you gotta live life right and unfortunately I don't I don't know uh We'll talk about this when I get back, but um, I I thought I just had a couple spots left, and it turns out to be more, and it's it's more complicated. And the good thing is this: I didn't talk about this with you because you know me. I don't want to stress about something and add that additional stuff to my body, and unless I'm sure. And I was going through uh, all of those. Um, all those testings and stuff when we came back from 
When I came back from Jackson Hole, I remember I had MRIs and CT scans and doctor's appointments. Well, my, my doctor that was doing the ablations, he was right in. Like, up until that appointment, the message I got was that he felt he was done with what he could do. His part was done, and now I should work with my radiologist. And that just, I was like, whoa, it just happened. <laughs> and it was one of those couple of weeks. I found out last week, everything's, everything's chill. He's, he's, my team came together. He's in, everyone's in, we're going forward. But it was kind of a little bit of holding your breath. And when we decided to, to do this and Colorado and we decided Thanksgiving for eight days in Maui, like I'm, I'm just, I'm going to power through because we're going to keep going with treatment. So it's going to get, you know, ugly again. And I just didn't know if this is ever going to end. And so right now, I've, I've got the energy. I'm going. I can't wait. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take lots of pictures. And I'll tell you all about it all along the way. But for now, I think I need to go and freshen up a little bit. And maybe do some breathing techniques. Oh. Before I go though, I do want to say for anyone out there that is uh, has lung problems or is in lung uh, treatment or, or anything, I'm going to put a link um, in the description because I started a, a, a lung exercise program, a lung strengthening program uh, right after the ablations, right? So I've had 20 rounds of chemo on, or uh, 20 rounds of radiation on my lungs and then I had some ablation procedures done on my lungs. I'm going to send, I'm going to put the tool that I am using with the program I am using in the description and you'll be able to check it out. It has helped me so much. My, my lungs uh, capacity for uh, inhaling and expiration most importantly uh, ha has has improved greatly and I'm and I'm still doing it because I'm obviously still going through more uh, treatment. So anyways I'll put that there for you. Um, for now, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to Iceland and Helsinki. I'm going to come home. I'm going to do chemo. I'm going to go to Colorado and celebrate life with a bunch of people that really are celebrating life right now. And then I'm going to come home. And then it's going to be the month of October up until Maui of uh, radiation and chemo. If I get things like this, it's worth it, right? You get things like this, it's amazing. Okay. Well, wish me luck. I hope I don't projectile vomit on the plane. <laughs> okay. I'll see you on the other side.